guys, it's December, so it's Christmas. Woo! Hey guys, it's Kat and Deb from Two Market Girls. Today we did a collab, and it's the first video of our How to Vegan the Holiday series. Ba -la 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 -la. <laughs> Today we're featuring three different recipes for you. Uh, one of them our own, and two of them from a local Toronto vegan food blogger that we both love called Love Wild Live Free. You guys should check her out. All her info is in the description below, as well as the link to the recipes we'll be making from her blog. So from Love Wild Live Free, we're making her garlicky mashed potatoes with mushroom gravy. And guys, this stuff is absolutely amazing, so you have to make this. And it's really easy to make. Yeah, actually it really is. Yeah. And then we decided to pair it with one of our own recipes for this lentil loaf uh, with like a maple, sriracha, balsamic, ketchup glaze. Mm. We're gonna find a better name for that. It's kind of, it falls apart a lot, but I swear it's delicious. <laughs> Just like you might do during the holiday season. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how we made it. To roast the garlic, preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and cut off the top of the garlic bulb to expose each individual garlic cloves. Place each on a square of parchment and drizzle lightly with some avocado oil. Wrap the garlic bulb tightly, twisting the paper at the top to secure. Bake for approximately 40 minutes. While the garlic is baking, peel and wash all potatoes. Roughly chop the potatoes into medium-sized pieces and place into a large pot with cold water. Add a pinch of salt and cover with lid. Place on a stove set to high and bring to a boil. Once water boils, reduce to medium or low and let the potatoes cook for 15 to 20 minutes. In a large bowl, mash the bulbs from one head of roasted garlic. Add three tablespoons of coconut oil and potatoes and mash everything together. Taste the mixture to see if you need to add any more garlic. Season with salt and fresh cracked pepper to taste. Bring one and a half cups of water and half a cup of vegetable broth to a boil and then add one cup of lentils. While the lentils are cooking, in another pot, bring to boil and then add half a cup of red quinoa and half a cup of black quinoa. To make two flax eggs, add two tablespoons of ground flax seeds to a third cup of water and mix together and set aside. Finely dice half an onion and mince two cloves of garlic. Finely chop one carrot. Add those to your bowl along with the onions and garlic and one stick of celery finely chopped. In a pan with some oil, saute your vegetables until the onions are translucent. While those are sauteing, finely chop up one cup of kale. To your sauteed vegetables, add one teaspoon of thyme, smoked paprika, pepper, and cumin. Mix the spices together and then add your kale and cover with the lid to steam it. Once the kale has wilted, mix all the vegetables together more. At this point, your lentils should be done. Remove and drain and then add them to a large bowl. Mash your lentils together with a potato masher or fork. If you want them creamier and less chunky, use an immersion blender. Then you're gonna add your sauteed vegetables, your quinoa, and your flax eggs to that and mix it all together. Spread evenly in a lined loaf pan and make sure it's packed down. To make the glaze to go on top, you're gonna add a quarter cup of ketchup, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, two tablespoons of agave, and a teaspoon of sriracha and mix that all together. Pour it over top of your loaf and spread it out as evenly as you want. If you have excess parchment paper, make sure to trim the sides. Then your loaf is gonna bake in the oven at 350 for 30 to 40 minutes. Add about one tablespoon of vegan butter to a frying pan and melt over medium heat. Saute one cup of finely chopped onion 
and one minced garlic clove. Once the onions have softened, add about three cups of sliced mushrooms and continue to cook for another eight minutes. Add two tablespoons of flour and one tablespoon of nutritional yeast. Stir to evenly coat the mushrooms and onions. Stir in one and a half cups of vegetable stock and three tablespoons of soy sauce. Stir until all clumps are broken down. Allow gravy to cook on medium to low heat until it thickens up. Make sure to stir often. Kitten in 